In the previous video, we configured a basic GNS3 network consisting of three VPCS devices and an Ethernet switch. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a basic Cisco network using Cisco iOS images. One of the best places to go for information about GNS3 is the GNS3 documentation. If you search for iOS images, there's a link that explains Cisco iOS images for DynaMips. Now DynaMips is an older way of creating GNS3 networks. This uses what's called the local GNS3 server. So after you've installed the GNS3 graphical user interface, you can create GNS3 networks using the local server. That's what we did in the previous video when we created this topology. But now what we're going to do is create a new topology or new project using Cisco iOS images. So I'll create a new project for this in GNS3. At the moment, I don't have any installed appliances. But under available appliances, I have devices such as the Cisco 3725 router. Back in the GNS3 documentation, looking at Cisco iOS images for DynaMips, we can see that GNS3 offers multiple ways to emulate Cisco iOS. For older images, GNS3 uses and maintains DynaMips, which is a hardware emulator dedicated to emulate some Cisco hardware. So what GNS3 and DynaMips are doing here is running an unmodified real Cisco iOS image. In my downloads folder, I have this Cisco 3725 iOS image. This is an actual Cisco iOS image that you could run on physical 3725 routers. Now in the documentation, some important points are mentioned. If you want to use 15.x of Cisco iOS, you need a 7200 series image. All other platforms are now end of life and only support iOS 12.4. It's recommended today that you use a Cisco iOS V viral image in GNS3. In this video, I'll show you, however, how to get a 3725 router image working in GNS3. And in a subsequent video, I'll show you how to integrate Cisco iOS V images with GNS3. The DynaMips images that are recommended are 3640, 3660, 3725, 3745, and 7200 iOS images. The recommended releases that are most stable are shown in this document. So as an example for the Cisco 3725, the recommended 3725 router images are these images, 12.425D mainline image, or 12.415T14, the technology train. In my example, that's the image that I'm using. The minimum amount of RAM for this image is 256 meg of RAM. The proposed idle PC value is this. I'll talk about idle PC values in a moment. So on the documentation page, the actual iOS image names are listed and the requirements such as memory for the images. Now, probably one of the most commonly asked questions is where do I get images from? So in the documentation page, I've searched for where. Where do I get iOS images? This question comes up all the time. Now, again, unfortunately, due to legal requirements, neither I or GNS3 is able to provide Cisco iOS images. You need to provide your own. Here are some suggestions on ways to get Cisco iOS images. You can firstly get them from the Cisco website by clicking on this link. 
Now, if you don't have a service contract with Cisco, you can purchase a viral license. This is the recommended way of running Cisco images in GNS3 and gives you a lot of options. You get a router image, you get a switching image, you get a firewall image and other images. The cost is now $200 per year. You can get a viral by using this link. At the time of this recording, there's a 25% discount. So $150 per year. This is a yearly cost. Another option is to get an iOS image from a physical router. So you would copy the image from the router and load that image into GNS3. Now, unfortunately, some of the images have been removed from Cisco's website. So you won't necessarily find the right iOS images from the Cisco website. Cisco have unfortunately removed some of the recommended images from their website. So the recommendation is to use Cisco Viral. You should purchase a Cisco Viral image, which is both the legal way as well as the best way to run images in GNS3. The recommendation today is to use Cisco Viral images you're gonna get better performance and a better user experience by using Cisco Viral Images. Viral supports both Cisco iOS V and iOS V Layer 2. iOS V is a routing image and iOS V Layer 2 is a switching image. Other images such as Nexus and iOS XR are supported as well as CSR 1000 V and the ASAV firewall. So if you want the most features and most reliable platform, it's recommended that you use Cisco Viral images with GNS3. But in this video, I'll show you how to import a Cisco Dynamips image into GNS3.